the BMW 5 Series is one of few cars you could reasonably argue are the best all-rounders on sale. It has something for every occasion, it's comfortable, practical, full of tech, good to drive and economical. The only thing stopping us from calling it a Swiss Army knife is the fact that it doesn't have a bottle opener. Still, that hasn't stopped it from picking up the best large car award in the 2021 CarWow Car of the Year Awards. The 5 Series, including the Touring Estate model, was updated in 2020 with some subtle exterior changes, but they didn't change the fact that the BMW isn't quite as handsome as an Audi A6 or a Mercedes E-Class, its two main alternatives. The performance version, the BMW M5, was also updated around the same time. It's a different story on the inside, though, as it has a superb interior. The design is elegant and very upmarket, and the quality of the materials is excellent too. There are fewer cheap-looking plastics inside than in E-Class, though all three of these cars have a brilliant interior design in their own way. The most recent version now comes with a 12.3-inch media system, using BMW's latest operating system. Satellite navigation is standard and instead of dials you get a display screen behind the steering wheel, just like in the E-Class and A6. The BMW's iDrive infotainment is the easiest to use of any car of its type, and it wouldn't be hard to argue that it's the best infotainment system in any car. The rotary controller on the center console is the reason for this, although there are voice and gesture controls available if you want them. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are included too. The five seats are very comfortable and there's loads of adjustment so the driving position is great too. Plus, there's loads of room in the back for passengers, there's more headroom than in an E-Class. The middle seat could be better as it is high up and a bit narrow, but it's okay for short trips. The BMW 5 Series Saloon has a 530-litre boot, which is enough for a few suitcases. It's on par with other cars of the same size, and the rear seats fold down if you need to carry long items. It's not as practical as the Touring version, but you can fit a bike in the boot with a bit of effort the rear seats folded flat, which means even the saloon is nicely practical. There's a good range of engines that all use mild or plug-in hybrid tech, so you can choose based on your driving expectations. The four-cylinder diesel engine in the 520D model is the bread and butter of the range, delivering north of 55 miles per gallon along with plenty of performance. There's also the 520i with a four-cylinder petrol engine, which is a bit smoother but not as economical. The six-cylinder models are great for those looking for more luxury. The 530d diesel is really powerful yet economical. There's no plain petrol six-cylinder, but you can get the 545e plug-in hybrid, which has a six-cylinder petrol and an electric motor. Like the 530e, you can plug this in to travel over 30 miles on electricity alone. Finally, there's a M550i X-Drive model at the top of the range, which is the most powerful model you can buy without stepping up into the BMW M5 Super Saloon. All models come with a smooth 8-speed automatic gearbox as standard and you can get versions fitted with 4-wheel drive, BMW calls it X-Drive.